The Riverside 250 started back in 1977 at Riverside International Speedway. The 250 has continued for all but a couple of years since. In 2007, the 250 was titled the IWK 250 and has been Canada's crown jewel event to win every year. The tradition continues this July 15th weekend. Friday night, it's the Auto World Sportsman Series, Henry's Auto Pro 100. And then on Saturday, it's the IWK 250 featuring the stars of the East Coast International Pro Stock Tour and teams from across Canada and the U.S. So it is Friday, 2.23 p.m. with the brother. Yes, sir. At the ferry. IWK 250 weekend action begins today. Legends and late model well, sportsmen. It, it technically began yesterday. Or, yeah. Racing action, we'll call it that. Yes. We've both been to Riverside mm -hmm. twice for the, the Pinty Series. 2019, I think, was last time? Yeah, and then 2016. Yeah. 16 or something like that. Yeah, uh, yeah. But this is both of our first times at the IWK 250. This is the first time we've gone to Riverside where it's not a Pinty's race. Yeah, exactly. So. exactly. How excited are you? I'm very excited, dude. I love this racetrack. Uh, I'm excited to see Carson Hosevar. That's, that's yeah. I think he's gonna. He was. Of course, uh, everyone is. Well, he finished first in practice yesterday. I think it was by like two thousandths of a second or something like that. So uh, twelve some, something. Yeah, zero point zero. Yeah. But uh, I, I'm excited to see him run in the uh, Chevrolet Mustang. Yeah, so. number 23, whatever the <laughs> cat kid thing is. Yeah, they, yeah, they got that Mustang grill, but then they yeah. got the Chevy logo on top of it. So. Yeah, there's a meet and greet today about an hour before mm. racing. Yeah. Autograph session will yeah. be tomorrow, but uh, so, yeah. I'm excited, let's go. Okay, let's, um, let's get on this boat. Please. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I don't know. All right, we gotta put this back here now. Ow. <laughs> Help. Help. <laughs> put it back. Stop videoing, put it back, bro. Video sh brotherly shenanigans. <laughs> to the Airbnb. Host seems really nice. She's a really nice lady. Hmm. So uh, Cheaper than a hotel. Way and cheaper. this is our first, both of our first Airbnb experiences? It is, yes. This is the first time I've ever been to an Airbnb, so. Jeez. Two weekends in a row for me. There's been yep. so many damn first time stuff. Yep, exactly. Life. Oh. You can't zoom. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's how. Okay. Presented by Atlantic Tilt, and on the pole, it's turn to 13. It's King Racing King Competition. Entry the driver from Victor Nova Scotia.
But uh, because uh, of that, Devin Smith was uh, Chase Elliott Hyundai. Chase Elliott Hyundai. Two, Chase Elliott Hyundai. Two. I am on all sportsmen's and legends about to get a race in here. We out here. Mm. Let's go. Quite the atmosphere. Really good atmosphere. I got to say hi to Carson Hosevar. That was kind of neat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Talked to other people, gotten compliments fans, from the Super Late Models series as well, so this guy, this guy's getting all the spotlight yeah. right here. He's celebrity. Not as much as Hosevar, though. No, no, no. It's all good, though, but... Yes, sir. We do accept good racing coming up. The cash on you to buy your shirt, get him out of it. Get that B name and just start the back of the field. But so, under caution here after heat race number two, big wild finishing. I'm really curious to know what happened. Sarah Thorne, that 0-6, scary up here, but she's all on her own feet. Uh, just got the report from Ashton Wiki back there. She is okay. She is not happy. Don't blame her. That is... Uh, <laughs> so, I'll uh, quote uh, one of the, the crew members from yesterday. The driver has a little bit of an attitude. Good to see that. He's the candy man. He's racing legendaries now. Do you hear that? Not racing tonight, but he's, he's racing legendaries.
Ethan Hicken, the crew chief this evening for Peter Howell. Oh, well, let's get it for you.
and double pin on this weekend, dominating this race. So it is day two of the IWK 250 Super Weekend, or whatever you call it. Last night was pretty chaotic. Legends and Lame All Sportsmen took absolutely forever to get done. There just could be no good green flag runs except for just a couple. But uh, yeah, congrats to Corey Hall and was it Cody Luke, I think it is, that's his name. Both on very dominant wins. I mean, Corey Hall winning the Super Late Model Series race last weekend at Petty International Raceway, was there for that one. Oh yeah, and this is uh, what I slept on. It was on a couch. Brother took the damn bed. <laughs> it was all right. Got to got in the bed only like 1.30 a.m. or something, so pretty late, but I feel fine. That's all that matters. That's day one of the books. Day two is now here. The IWK 250 is today. Practices, time trials, heat races, and the race itself. I'm surprised I never mentioned this, but um, I'm actually going to be sponsoring two laps in the IWK 250. Today, laps 99 and 100. It's on the uh, it's on some board, I think, the lap one thing or something like that. I don't recall the name for sure. I'll have to remember when looking at photos or whenever I go to the track, but it actually on the board. It has all the sponsors and all the names and such of everyone who put in funds to help out. And um, for laps 99 and 100, Regan McCauley at K Riggs are, is on there. Logo's on there, name and logo, and uh, truly feels special. It's definitely been a goal of mine to uh, sponsor a race of some kind, especially in the, here in the Maritimes. It's only the beginning for that. I can only go further down the line. So it is almost 9 o'clock here, Atlantic time. I think from what I can tell over there. So practices begin in two hours. Hopefully I'll get some breakfast here sometime soon. Wrapping Mr. Bit Speedway for a second in a row here. I wonder if I might get recognized by more people here today. I don't know for sure if I'm gonna talk to any drivers or anything like that or anything and stuff. So we'll just have to see how it goes. And um, I'm sure it's gonna be a hell of a day. Let's get her going. So practices just came to an end. Uh, Ashton Tucker led the first one. Cars Tour driver Austin McDonald getting practice two. Practice four led by Carson Hosevar. Uh, Jared Butcher and Craig Slomwy rounding out the podium from what I last saw there. But uh, 
Again, one hour break now, time trials to settle the heat race lineups next, and then the heat races are right after that, green flag obviously at 7.30 p.m. Atlantic time over here. Two cars representing the Sickers and Stuffs podcast, the number 36 at Gary Elliott, Quaker State car, uh, Can Canadian Ironman, I believe is his nickname, and then there's the number 31W of Rick Spencer Walt from Ontario, so nice to see an Ontario late model presence here. He's not the only one, though, because Dwayne Baker, the number 48, is from Stainer. Ontario. There's a guy from also uh, Fort McMurray, Alberta, even, which is cool to see. So, Stickers and Scuffs podcast representation and coverage still going on on and off the track. So, let's take a big of a break here and uh, next up, qualifying. Chris Kramer, IWK 250 champ, helping out with Les Norman, helping out Nicholas Nalago here. Uh, Regan McCauley, aka Regzer, sponsoring it. Yeah. 99 and 100 Dalton Industries 101. There it is. The county that I can for 105. It's pretty cool. Yes, sir. For 110. Each of these hats, obviously you want number one, there is a 10 out there and everything in between. There's one through 10. Which one does he choose? Should he go to the right fans or to the left? He's gonna to go to the right here. What do you got? Two. Two. Not bad. Uh, not bad uh, you know, I didn't want to walk too far. Uh, I'm uncoordinated as it is, but uh, yeah, I think that's a good spot. It seems like the top one seems to work here. I, I, they said they put P.J. Warren on the pastures, and I said when I got here, I said, man, it was really cool if they put P.J. Warren against the fence. So, we got a lobby for next year, but I, I get the chance to come back. And, um, until then, this, this 23 caps the pits first and ask for me. Get up in the dash. Thank you.
to welcome to the stage this evening our special guests. Please welcome the Honourable Ken Houston, Premier of Nova Scotia. Well, good evening, Lisa, but most fans, welcome. I want to say thank you to the uh, Chisholm family, uh, Riverside, uh, and all the, all the sponsors here for putting on this great event and supporting this wonderful cause, and, and each of you, uh, have a great evening on behalf of uh, the MLA for the day, Michelle Thompson and, and the province of Nova Scotia. We just want to say what a good thing this is our pro for our province. I want to give them some quick greetings from uh, my father-in-law. Arch Steve's a dancing fragment. He can't be here tonight, uh, but he's uh, he's thinking of all you guys and he wishes he was. So have a great race for him tonight. Uh, talk to you everyone soon. 1992. Many will say he is Canada's greatest short track racer. Born here in Nova Scotia, racing all over North America, winning championships, including here at Riverside. Would you please give a large Riverside ovation to the one, the only, Junior Hanley!
track racing, but of course we also want to fundraise for the IWK Foundation, benefiting the IWK Children's Hospital and helping those families, the mothers, the babies, and everyone. And from top times, many other stations in our community.
you've been disqualified for reckless driving. Got better in the second half. He got a lot better in the second half. First, uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, first half, eh, not bad. Carson Hosfar was like literally straight away and a half ahead of everyone. Yeah. <laughs> he had some white like, found an adjustment somewhere. He found something in that car. That that halfway break, he must have found something in that car. Must have air pressure adjustment, anything like that, probably. Oh, not to mention the it becoming night. That also, uh, that also probably had a big effect on it, but uh, no, it was, it was a great race at the end, but I, I, I enjoyed that a lot. You gotta be scratched here, you gotta be the last 125, whether this thing sticks or not, when you set it down into a tree. Yeah, Classic. When you're in Canada and you're on a road trip, Tim Hortons is where it's at. It's not as good as it used to be, but it still hits. 
If you're very grateful, I am. <laughs>so done of the dnm sports hall this, what's your load this is my load for today so as a as someone from prince edward island nobody there likes nascar <laughs> and being a nascar fan there is hard because everything is so expensive shipping canadian to american dollar all that kind of stuff so when you come to halifax this place dnm sports they've got nascar gear and they will set you up for good so today i got this kyle bush Three Chi hat. It's a pretty good, pretty good looking hat. I'm a big Kyle Bush, Kyle Bush fan, so got that. And we also got got this Kyle Bush Three Chi shirt. That's the front of it, and that's the back right there. Pretty damn good looking shirt, I have to say. Uh, we also got three three 164 diecasts. So up we got the uh, 75th anniversary NASCAR Camaro be kind of something cool to have in the future whenever to look back at the 75th anniversary of NASCAR. We've also got uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2023 Xfinity ride. Um, not sure if this is going to be at Homestead or Bristol. It'll be one of them, but uh, really excited to watch him uh, run uh, those races. Anytime Dale Jr. comes back to the Xfinity series, it's always cool. Uh, and last but not least, we got a 2023 Ross Chastain Kubota diecast. Uh, Chastain and Dale, or, uh, Chastain and Kyle Busch are my guys. Usually, uh, uh, I pick uh, pick quite a rowdy bunch of them. So, uh, but uh, yeah, so that's that's my hall. And up next, we'll uh, we'll take a look at Regan's hall. All right, up next we got Regan's yeah, hall. Let me do Re it in point Regan's five. Regan's hall here right here. I actually got some IWK stuff as well. Got a shirt, got a sticker, and a program as well with my name in it, uh, with all the lap sponsors and such. Lap ninety nine to. Under a course that is a them. damn good looking shirt i just gotta say oh yeah that well is... the guy on it didn't win he didn't no <laughs> he dominated but he did not win yeah all right ragdolled by all, all the locals right. in the second all right let's take a look at this hall here's the hall for me ryan mulaney been a blaney fan for a couple of years now good old menards number 12 hat here on that. and then for my shirt choice maybe a little Ooh. bit maybe a little depressing this year in a way yeah a little bit Jimmy Johnson. There it is. Good old Jimmy. Look at that. Hasn't been the best return exactly for That's him, but it's a, it's a very your, nice move, shirt. Move your arm. There you go. Yeah, yeah there you go. A, Look at that. Yeah. Beauty. I'm sure Legacy will be able to figure things out down the line. Same thing for Jimmy as well. So that's very nice. It's really the only option there besides, I guess, Kyle Busch and all the Hendrick drivers and such and Kevin Harvick. There are just too many. The only one in my size was simplistic as hell. So, there's that. I am not good at folding shirts. <laughs> and for the die cast, we are going with... Well, I was saying, Harvick shirts. Nothing really there. We're going with the die cast. Won Michigan last year. Won his way into the playoffs. And that uh, helped him on... Give him a momentum for uh, Richmond as well. Two wins in a row there. But could be one of Kevin Harvick's final wins. So, you know, might as well get that one in there. And there's the hall there. This place is awesome. True. All right, we are out here. Halifax Shopping Center, um, Taco Bell. Never had it before. We don't get the luxury of Taco Bell, like the absolute luxury of that place in Prince Edward Island. Um, I got the uh, Crunch Wrap Supreme. Um, this is the bad boy right here. It's a little flat looking. <laughs> um, but uh, I dedicate this one to Michael Cozy Jr. or uh, Winbow8820 on YouTube. Uh, 
big fan of his. I've been watching his videos now for, God, forever. At least eight or nine years. Same. Um, Taco Bell is his favorite, and uh, his first bite's in honor of him. Yep. Pretty good. Oh, I got you another one. I'm afraid for your butt later. The fairy won't know what hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, we gotta get one more here. They also gave me this hot sauce. So, um, <laughs> let's uh, put a little bit of that in there. There we go. Oh boy. Better. Woo. That's hot. Now, what do you. Whoa. Oh, you should have fries. Uh, it's standard, you know, french fry. Ooh, that, that sauce is hot. Meanwhile, I'm healthy. I already had a meal, yep. and I'm lame as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Can I see the video? He's still recording. Cool. It's still a fry, though. Woohoo. Alright, so, we're currently in Caribou, Nova Scotia. We're at the ferry dock, and I have a little surprise for Regan. Come this way. <laughs> what up? What? Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, uh, last place I'd expect to see something like that here, but uh, there's the 2008 Cup Series lineup. <laughs> Just randomly on the wall. Well, there's also your cow bush. Sure. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> yeah, there nice. you go. Yeah. Hmm? All right, we got the fairy glizzy review. Yeah, the fairy from Quebec, not the regular MB Federation. Exactly. Let's get that glizzy review. Get that bite in there. Yeah. It's just a simple hot dog. That's all it is. So, on a scale of one to absolute glizziness, what do you get? Below one, I guess. Oh, this is an unfortunate uh. review. <laughs> also, considering this cafeteria doesn't have fries. Or anything, really, except for sugar and chowder. Yep. No. The, my disappointments are measurable. Right. And my day is ruined. Let me hang up around here. Sure. There you go.